toes till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left Hello guys, what's up? Thank you so much for watching Circuits Bazaar. So today we are going to design a YouTube based home automation. So the app which we are going to use is Blink app. So now we are going to install that Blink app. So first of all, open the Play Store. So this is the app. Install this app. Now this app is going to be installed. Now app is installed, so we are going to open this app, open the app, now it is asking for login, ok so you can login with Facebook as well and uh, you can login with your email id as well, so if you have Facebook account then you can login with Facebook as well, right, now we are going for create new account, email id, now it is getting connecting with your email id and uh, after login it will send you auth token this is something else okay so if you will open your that uh, email id then you will get a auth token as well whenever you will design new project okay so the uh, board you will select over here is node mcu go to node mcu this is the board okay network wi-fi okay no problem and name of the project is for example you are naming your project i o t so this is the name of your project now click hit create so it is creating project now this is the auth token this auth token will be sent to your main email id now we are going to create the project click this okay so now you need to create some button button okay you need four button okay so create first of all four button now i will drag them to mid location as well okay now click on this and uh, change from 1 to 0 and this this was push button we will click it to switch okay and uh, change data from 1 to 0 1 here and 0 here okay on off okay and uh, pin which pin you want to connect in for example i will start from d4 pin so make it d4 okay first button is set to d4 and the name of the button you can provide name of the button what relay relay one for example relay one relay one d4 Relay to pin D5. And this is 1, 2, 0. So click it to switch. And that's all. Similarly, you can do for pin up to d5 we have done now it's time to take d6 okay 
डाटा फ्रॉम वन टू जीरो पुश बटन ओके वी फॉर गो टू नेम दिस रिले नेम इज रिले रिले थ्री नौ डी सेवन ओके डाटा फ्रॉम वन टू जीरो स्विच नेम ऑफ द पिन इज रिले फोर रिले फोर ओके डी फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन रिले वन टू थ्री सो दिस इज ऑल डन now you have to make the program so what's happening in program i will show you that thing right so the app work is done if you will play this app because there is no connection that's why there is a red symbol over here as soon as this uh, app will get connected with your uh, authentication password and ssid then it will control wireless applications from this mobile phone doesn't matter wherever your device is connected right so now we are going to work on Uh, that software part so this is the auth token i have got so i'll copy this auth token in a folder because i need to make the program so i'm going to copy this auth token here now open the arduino you better know how to install the arduino and in arduino as well you will need two thing so one thing is install the blink library right and another thing is to install the esp board files right so first of all i am gonna open the arduino right now here you need to put the auth token which you get on your email id so this is the auth token which i am i got on the email id right copy this and paste auth token paste here right and now your network password name is al because i am going to use my mobile phone portable hotspot so the uh, name of my hotspot is al and the my password is 12341234 a b c d right so this is all about this code so this is the simple code uh, again i'm going to uh, going to tell you the steps first go to example then go to uh, blink okay then go to blink then go to uh, board wifi then go to esp stand alone right and this program will get open you need to change only three parameter one is auth token which you got on your email id another is your password uh, of the hotspot or wifi and another is your name of the password ssid means uh, sorry name of your uh, wifi or hotspot right so these are only three parameter then you need to build this program so now two thing is needed one is like you must have blink library okay so you can get blink library from github.com right and uh, uh another thing is that you need to install board right so if i'll go to board then there is a node mcu given over here so this is very simple two step uh, left over here the first step is blink library so i'll tell you in another video in full detail how to install blink library and another is uh, install the board so because video will become too long so i'll tell you this uh, these two step how to install the node mcu board and how to install the blink library in another video so this is all about this so these two steps you can also follow some other videos as well or i'll uh, later give the complete detail of how to install blink libraries and how to install uh, in tools your node mcu board so i'm not going to tell these steps in this video because video will be too long right and uh, now Uh, this is the code all code you need to uh, run the iot based home applications project right so this is the board now i am going to connect my this is the node mcu board right so you need usb cable now go to tool 
this is this light is on go to tool go to port 32 go to board select node mcu node mcu esp 12 right now build the code so it will take a little bit time but you have to wait for that time after that you can control this project through internet or through iot now uploading uploading part is done so now we are going to test uh, this project okay so first of all for example this is the mobile phone through which i have uh, on the hotspot so connected one i think this is connected already uh, you can use wi-fi network as well to own the uh, uh, to get the network to this uh, node mcu chip or you can use your mobile hotspot portable right so uh, i have on the hotspot of this mobile phone so it is considering this hotspot as a wi-fi network so now uh, this is the app this app is okay it is connected right <clears throat> you just need to open the blink app like the blink app i have installed in this phone this is the blink app whenever you will open okay your project will open which project you have designed okay now uh, this is the complete setup i have made uh, to control through wireless network so from this hotspot this mcu chip is already connected right so i will provide the power supply to this relay and i will provide power supply to this 230 volt port right and then i'll uh, show you how to control through wi-fi these all type of things so now we are going to test the iot based project live uh, basically we are going to provide three type of power supply in this project one is power supply to the node mcu right through this uh, adapter so you can use any mobile phone charger okay for that thing because it's need only 5 volt and because the relay is working on 12 volt so you need a 12 volt adapter so this is the 12 volt adapter we are using to provide power supply to this relay board so i'll connect uh, this connection over here right uh, this is plus this is minus and this connection will fit only in this direction like this um off um so uh, this is the bluff so this bluff will get on and off through uh, internet right and this is another port you can put your mobile phone charger or all these type of things over here and uh, this is also working on 230 volt this is also working on 230 volt and this is a little bit independent unit in this project because uh, this is application of this project uh, whenever there will be any fire or whenever there will be any smoke and whenever there will be any uh, smoke uh, or uh, combustible uh, combustible gas near this sensor then this uh, water motor will automatically get on so i'll show you this feature as well and uh, for that thing i'll use this lpg uh, gas or you can use some uh, smoke as well means you can fire some uh, document or something like to generate this smoke so that it, this sensor can set sense that smoke and the 7805 is the uh, voltage regulator ic because it's working on 5 volts and we have we have provided 12 volts so this 7805 will convert to 12 volt into 5 volt and that 5 volt will go to this gas sensor and this gas sensor will then provide signal to this relay unit this single relay unit this single relay unit will on and off this 230 volt ac motor right and if i talk about these four relay so this relay is connected to this bulb this relay is connected to this port and these two relay are free for the future use but we can control because i have programmed these two relay as well so we can control these two relay as well through uh, our iot based applications right and um, this is node mcu as i already told you so i have used these two transistors as well over here so these two transistors are acting as a darlington pair over here because you know that uh, you can't drive high power relay directly using node mcu or even using microcontroller you have to have driver in between relay and node mcu so that you can drive these relay and these relay in turn can drive high voltage applications which is up to 30 volt over here so these darlington pair will get signal from the node mcu and i have connected these relay from pin number d4 d5 d6 d7 right these are four relay and i have connected these four pin d4 d5 d6 d7 and this is the ground pin of node mc which is connected to the ground pin of these relay this is 12 volt relay 
that's why I have provided 12 volt power supply and this is uh, 5 volt power supply through the mobile phone adapter to this node MCU so now I'm going to show you the working of this project and this is the AC supply so this is this is a 12 volt adapter and this is 5 volt adapter uh, for the node MCU right and this is 230 volt which will drive these applications right uh, this hotspot is on and this hot, uh, the uh, node MC will get connected with this hotspot and this is the device on which I have blink app now you can see that if there is no connection to this node MCU uh, to the network then this there will be red symbol over here but if the connection is there then there will be no red symbol over here so now I am going to connect all these relay so if I will own this relay then this relay will get on okay now this is the app blink app on which on this blink app I have set the four control of these four relay so if I will own this relay right this is 230 volt bulb and we are uh, uh, on and we, we are making we are making this bulb on and off through the internet right when i own then this led is on and this led on means relay is on and relay is on means 230 volt port is on like this okay there is no bluetooth connection there is no gsm connection this is the connection through the internet and if I'll own this relay, third relay, then third relay is on. And over here, there is 230 volt on this port. You can put some mobile phone charger or all those type of things. And if I'll off this relay, then this relay is off. If I'll own this relay, this relay is on. Off, on, off. So this is the very simple. Using Blink app, I utilize home applications through the internet. As simple as that, right? So the another feature of this project is it will own this water pump whenever it will sense any combustible gas or any smoke. So this is the LPG gas. So if I will take my LPG gas near to the sensor then this motor will automatically own and you can notice the change on the relay as well. Immediately this LED will own whenever it will sense the uh, combustible gas like this. You can see relay is on. Motor is also on so again whenever it will change now you can see water pump is on whenever there will be no gas water pump will be automatically off so this is the simple application of i2 ways home applications with uh, water pump control automatically if there is any smoke or any combustible gas right and this is the pad actually these two phone through this hotspot this node mcu is connected and through this phone i am using app right app uh, i have used two different phones so that you can clearly see the difference this is only for the internet network providing for, uh, providing connection and this is for the app connection right so this is all about this iot based home applications if you have any doubt you can ask me a question in the comment box and uh, if you like the video you can subscribe the channel uh, for more such video in future thank you very much for watching the video